welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Biko T and I'm glad to walk you through how to design an election poster. Okay, so we're going to dive deeper into how we can design election poster, be it um, political or maybe a student um, union um, poster. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new um, a new file which you come here. This is Photoshop CC 2021. So you come to your new, create new. You click create new. So this uh, box shows up. Then I have some custom, uh, some custom, um, uh, how do I put it? Some custom um, uh, artwork here. So now what I would do is this is either I create mine or I just use this custom um, custom preset. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use this custom preset because I'm going to design election poster and uh, it's going to be uh, an online uh, poster. We are not printing it. So for that reason, it's going to be a 2000 by 2000 pixel or a 4x4 four four inches. I hope you're getting me now. Okay, so let's dive deeper into the design. So I'm just going to select this, which is 2000 by 2000 pixel. Okay, so I will come here, I will rename it to election poster. Election poster and my width is 2000 and my height is 2000 so i leave my resolution at 300 to have a perfect and quality um design okay so i select pixel i can decide to select inches but for now i decided to select pixel okay and every other things remains the same so i click up on create so i have my 2000 by 2000 pixel Canva here. So what I will do now is to get the picture and of course to make this tutorial very um, simple and very fast. I have already um, cropped out the picture I'm going to use for this tutorial specifically. Okay, so and here is the picture I will use. So I will just drag and bring out here. So now, having brought out the picture here, I will just drag, I will hold my mouse, I will uh, left click and drag the image. So now, I've dragged the image to the Canva I'm working with. So I can decide to close this or minimize or I just bring it right back to this area. So I go back to my poster election and I have my picture here but you know, the picture is a quality picture so that's why you see it covers the whole Canva. So what I'll do now is to zoom in. That is, I'll zoom in using Control and Minus. Control and Minus. So it zooms in. Then I'll reduce the size. I will reduce the size. Okay. So now, maybe if I'm satisfied with this um, size, I can just come here and check. So I will, I will zoom out using Control and zero okay control and zero or i will just use control and plus sign okay so now having gotten this i will still reduce this picture okay i will reduce it a bit and drag like so i still reduce a bit and drag like so okay Yeah, so I'm satisfied like this. So I'm going to check here. It's checked. So now, some of the elements I'm going to use for this design are already um, present here. So to make this tutorial very fast as possible, very fast as possible. So for that reason, most of the things I'm going to be using, I won't really show how I launched them into the um, into the workspace, but. In some other tutorials, I will definitely show how I import pictures into the Photoshop. Okay, so please let's dive deeper into this tutorial. So now, the next thing for me to do is to make sure I type in the necessary things I need to type. So, 
I hit up on my type tool or I use my T or my keyboard. So I come to the workspace like this and just have a single click. Good. So I have a uh, Laura Ipsum uh, preset here. The reason is because this is our latest Photoshop, which is Photoshop 2021. That is Photoshop CC 2021 Creative Cloud. Okay, so that's why I have this preset here in your maybe if you're using CS5 or CS4 and um, so you might not have something like this, but it's still gonna work the same way. So let's go deeper into the tutorial. So I'll have my my text. Yes, so I'm done with my typing. So now the next thing, so now the next thing to do is to have my text arranged properly. Okay, so let's go dive deeper into it right now. Yes, so now uh, my foreground and my background color are set already. You can check it here and you can see the Excel, Excel number or yeah, the Excel number. And that's it here the rgb since it's going to be an online so we, we, we use rgb not same white thing at all so so that's it in case you want to copy that then for the foreground uh, for the background color we have this this ffb109 and you can just hit your ok but i'm just going to cancel so since all these are set for me, I will come to this background, background, then I'll I'll hit my my alt and delete my alt and delete. So I have something like this. Okay, I have something like this. So now I do my proper arrangement of text. That's my text format in the area I need to put those text to have a perfect design. So now I want to do some little, um, little design or little manipulation to this. It's not really a manipulation though, just something you know, little and um, dope to make the design look good and look cool. You know, it looks somehow boring like this because it has never been structured. Uh, the colors are still kind of shouting at each other and they are not harmonized yet. So we're gonna use in a well harmonized colors. Yes. So now I will grab my my um, elliptical or ellipse tool, my ellipse tool, which is here. Then I will come to somewhere in the Canva. I will just drag. I will hold my Alt and my Shift to have a perfect circle. My Alt and my Shift to have a perfect circle, like so. Fine. So I'm good to go. You are not seeing much differences because the foreground, um, the foreground color is still blue. The foreground color is still blue, so that's why you're not really seeing differences. But I will change the color right now, and you'll see perfectly well. Yeah. So now I've changed that to white, and you can see this is white color. But this is not what we're gonna do, and this is not what we want to achieve. But gradually, just follow up, and you'll get everything perfectly well. So now you move the ellipse tool right down below the image, just above the background layer. Like so, yeah. Good. So what are we gonna do right now? We're still gonna do some little uh, touch to this so that it looks dope. So now you come to your shape tool, which is your ellipse tool, your shape tool. You grab your shape tool. Now you come to your fill right here fill you click on fill you click on no color okay no color fine it seems to have disappeared yeah no no problem just have your mind cool we're still gonna get it back up so you come to stroke you come to stroke and you pick up this color which is white and you're still not seeing anything yet why are you not seeing anything the reason is because your the size of your stroke is still very very small so we're going to increase the size now to have a perfect uh, looking stroke yeah we have something like so okay though we are still not yet done with what we want to achieve exactly but we are moving very much closer so now let me reduce my shape to some extent my stroke i want to reduce it a bit and have something nice yes so now 
I still want to reduce my stroke size to some extent. So I will, I will grab my shape tool and come right here to stroke and reduce my size a bit. Yeah, so now I'm cool with this. So like so, I'm getting gradually to my destination. Okay, so now I have something like this and I'm good and happy with that. So I just centralized this to have a, a, a very nice uh, look. So I'm going to drag it right here. So now, what's the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to use a particular background to just mix the things so that it looks nice. And you know, it looks better than this. So I already have it here. It's, it's already imported here. I'll just drag right here, like so. I release, okay? So now, I'll click directly on top of it and just drag, hold and drag to my Canva, my workspace and release. Fine, I have it already. So I can close this, good? And this, I'll bring right down below the image, just above the um, background. I release that so yeah no it's no problem don't worry like it looks somehow awkward but that's not gonna be the end we are going to do some little touch okay so now we are getting closer to our destination okay so locate this background it's a geometry background you can download it online just type geometry background and get something like this it's no problem So you can just test run a lot of these um so you can just test run any of these your blend mode you just come and try to look into the one that perfectly fits your design should we go for overlay i think overlay looks cool okay so you can just reduce the feel or the opacity any of the two goes well you reduce the feel so that it looks cool now now you can just reduce the feel to like 50% and you'll be okay, okay? Yes, like I said, we are almost done with the tutorial. Now, what I just did here is just to move the name just right above the other name. So I will come here and drag just like so down here. Okay, so I'm good with this. So what I just did now is just to copy the uh, hex number. And click here. Okay. I want to have this as same color as that. I just paste it up here and hit OK. So we are almost done with our design. We are almost done. Okay, so something like so. And we are gradually moving to an end of this tutorial. Gradually. I hope you are enjoying the tutorial. Okay, so you switch uh, the foreground color and the background color using your X on your keyboard. X, X on your keyboard. You flip it using your X on your keyboard. So you come right down here to your shape tool, that's your ellipse tool, and you drag, holding your Alt and Shift, okay, like so, good, like so, yeah. So I I think I'm okay with this, so I'll just bring it right here. Then I'll I'll locate where it is here. Then I'll bring it right down just below the image like so then i will still reduce the i will still reduce the size like so like so and why am i doing something like this is just to you know create a contrast between the image and the white background like so then you will discover that the image or yeah the image is Con yeah, you will see now that the image is contrasting with the background because the picture of the person here it's it's white, you know, wearing white shirt and using a white background is kind of confusing. Okay, so we'll, we'll create a little bit of contrast to make the design look good. So you just duplicate this image. There are different ways of doing it, but I would just recommend you do it this way to just have a good results you duplicate the image ctrl j and your duplicated version you drop it right below here okay so now you can close this so that you will see what exactly you're doing okay so you come here you double click then this shows up and now you can just go to um let's say color overlay and um, change your color to something like this okay like so like so and like okay so you hit your okay 
then you, you check this on. Now, you're not sending anything because the image are placed on each other. So what you're going to do is this, just move with your left arrow key and just have a contrast like this. Good. I think we are we're good with this. Okay. Yes. So now you've created a kind of contrast between the image and the background. It's now visible. So I'm going to change the color of this to something like, let's say, um, let's say this. Okay, I think this is nice. Okay, so something like this. Then I'll copy and hit my OK. Hit my check mark here. Then I'll come to this vote. I'll double click and select all and come right here and paste so I have the same color. Then I'll be okay with that, right? Yes, so I'll be okay with that. And um, I'll drop this a bit a bit like so good i will lock this because i want to drag some of this text if i don't lock it i'll have everything dropping down and that's not what i'm looking for you can see this is not what i'm looking for i'll have to lock this background as well okay i'll have to lock these images too i think i'll have to lock them yeah so now i will select everything right here then i will move towards this side to just have something cool you know to just create some little spaces okay so i'll move this up like so then this comes no, i'm trying to select this yeah this comes like this like so and goes like so exactly so now i will move this right down a bit because it's contrasting with uh, the blue background i'm gonna move it like this I, I think i'm okay like so like so like so exactly okay good i think i'm okay like this so now we are almost done we are almost done yes and this is the end of this tutorial I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial please let me know in the comment section below and you know let me know whatever you feel about this design um maybe some kind of um things i need to do some other time and just tell me what you feel about this design please like share and comment i'll be very much glad yes i hope this tutorial is very simple enough for you to comprehend very very simple i made it just very simple for maybe your student union in your school or maybe a political uh, poster that is just meant for online alone it's going to be four by four inches or two thousand by two thousand pixel to fit in to the um space the, the, the canvas space of of your social media maybe your status on whatsapp on facebook instagram and whatever platform you want to use this is just a perfect shape for it so thank you guys and um I'll see you next in my tutorial. Thank you.